with Jim. Uh, we've got another Jim. Right. right. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm speaking about uh, what we do with regenerative medicine because we do quite a bit of regenerative medicine. We started doing foot and ankle uh, regenerative medicine, man, eight or nine years ago. So that's something I really like doing. I think it's very helpful to most people. And it's just another option we provide. And for him, we did uh, both of his knees. Yeah. And in the case of, of Jim, we used uh, what's called umbilical cord, which is kind of the latest and greatest in the, in the world of regenerative medicine. And uh, we did it on both of his knees. And actually, he's been gone for a while, and he's got a nice California <laughs> tan because <laughs> he's out in California for the winter. And uh, but anyway, if you can just share what it was like before. And I, I think he came in because he's a pretty active guy. You can tell by looking at him. He, he likes to get out and do things. So... Uh, you didn't want to have knee replacements, right? So, right. I didn't want to do the surgery and uh, right. So just explain. I mean, what was yeah. it like before, and what brought well, you here? And yeah. beforehand, story. Um, every time I would go uphill or downhill on bikes or mm -hmm. or just walking uphill or downhill, I had pains in my knees. Right. And this knee worse than this one. Right. Okay. And and uh, finally, I just. I gave it up and I said, I've got to do something about this. I, right. And I really didn't want to do surgery because... Uh, now, had you well, seen anybody for the possibility of surgery before you came yes, to CS? Yes, okay. I, I saw the Kaiser doctors. So you knew it, it, yeah. it's just a matter of time. Well, he said it's it's bone on bone. Right. So I got to do something. Okay. And so I found you because right. of my neighbor. Right. <laughs> And I'm really glad I did because the shots just, they did the job, but it's, it's taken, you know, four months really right. to, to feel. You probably that. didn't notice a lot in the first month or so? In the first couple of months I didn't. Okay. Yeah. Cause he's out now, uh, about almost four months. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So not everybody gets better immediately, but we start to get into the optimum range about close to four months and that's about where we're at. No, so may get, you may still get a little bit better. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that's one thing I wish you told me <laughs> okay. how long to wait okay. because I was getting depressed after a couple of months. <laughs> but it's it's this knee is really good now, and this one just gives me a little bit of trouble. So, like, what are you doing now that you didn't do before, or um, did you just kind of push through things? I, I, we did. I pushed through them, and I just did them because okay. I wanted to get them done. <laughs> okay. And now you can go up and down hills. Yeah. No pain. And such. Yeah. A little pain in this one yet, but yeah. it's it's okay. lots better than it was. Okay. And going up and down hill, um, it didn't matter I, whether I was going up or down. It hurt. It hurt. Okay. <laughs> but now it's just a little bit when I go uphill. Right. <laughs> well, you should get even better still, but yeah. we appreciate you taking the time to... Uh, share uh, your story. A lot of people need to hear that. And, you know, if you're watching, I want people to understand it doesn't work every single time, but it works the majority of the time, yeah. very high percentage of the time, and, and yeah. it's really exciting. And it's a great option for people that, well, you know, especially want to avoid, you know, kind of major surgery like a, right. a knee replacement. So, yeah. <laughs> and you've been a lot of fun to work with. Okay. <laughs> so, I enjoyed it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>